Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Enrichment, where we talk to small business owners and entrepreneurs on strategies and best practices. Although small businesses are often at a disadvantage when competing with bigger companies, they can have one advantage. You can always be smarter than they are. So let's get right to it. This week, our subject is how wealthy do you want to be in 2024? Now, the allure of wealth is something almost all of us are susceptible to. <clears throat> we assume that when we achieve a certain level of wealth, our problems will disappear and we'll be happy. Well, let's examine that premise. According to an article by Keith Dunlap, published by the Graham Media Group, research indicates that 70% of lottery winners go bankrupt within a few years. And even if you don't fall into that 70%, everyone you know or ever know will ask you for money. <clears throat> Families break apart and friendships crumble. Additionally, after the initial flush of excitement, the fast car and the big vacation, without the day-to-day -day efforts, plans, and goals, boredom sets in and winners are left wondering what's next. But I don't want to focus on the problems of lottery winners. I use them as an example of our fixation on defining wealth in terms of money. As we begin the new year and we set out specific goals for our businesses and ourselves, we would be wise to reconsider or at least broaden our traditional definition of wealth. Writing in Inc., Jessica Stillman examines an article by Rene Ocu that encourages us to contemplate other types of wealth. In fact, she discusses six kinds of wealth. And she proposes that without all of them, we may have a lot of money, but we're still poor. Here are some highlights from Stillman's article, discussion, discussing types of wealth other than money. First one, time. As we, as we discussed before, time is the non-renewable, non-salvageable resource that we all, <clears throat> that we all want more of. <clears throat> To be truly wealthy as it relates to time is not necessarily how much you have left, but how you're spending it. Ask yourself the question, are you maximizing the use of your time? And don't for a minute immediately start thinking about how you should be increasing the amount of time you spent working. Next one, talents. Consider what you're good at, what you enjoy doing. Truly wealthy people spend time on these things. If these talents put you in a better place financially, even better. But that shouldn't be the primary goal. Network. In 2024, who will you spend your time with? From a business perspective, networking with other business owners and customers is essential. However, spending night after night away from family or friends is a poor way to spend all your time. We need to cherry pick our business assignments and not frequent events that have little or no chance of rewarding our efforts. Body and mind. People often say, if you don't have your wealth, you don't have anything. And if you don't have anything, well, that's the very definition of poor. Ignoring our physical and psychological needs is one of the quickest ways to the poorhouse. Money. Okay, we finally get to money. Obviously, we need to provide for ourselves <clears throat> and our families, now and in the future. But the goal shouldn't simply be more, more, more. Instead, we should take into account a specific amount we think we need to achieve to get all the forms of wealth we've talked about, not just our bank account. Finally, don't fall prey to the movable goalposts. This often results in constant dissatisfaction and a sense of failure. When we're setting our goals for 2024, let's not limit them to how much money we can make. Get out there and live. You have one rodeo. 
instead of trying to buy all the horses, jump in the saddle and ride. Thomas Jefferson said, it is neither wealth nor splendor, but tranquility and occupation, which gives happiness. I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to further discuss anything regarding this topic or any small business strategy, reach out to me at rich at speakingofsuccess.us. And I hope to see you next week.